what's up beautiful people welcome to my beginner's guide to working out i'm so pumped to share this journey with you guys because i know firsthand how transformative it can be but before we really dive in let me take this moment to let you know that everyone's path is going to look different and that is perfectly okay the most important thing is to start where you are now and focus on progress over perfection never compare yourself to someone's year five if you are on day one so if you are new i am christy mack and on this channel i'm all about helping you conquer life's hurdles and supporting those battling a chronic illness like myself and guiding you to glow up to the next season of your life so if you're new here welcome to the family don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on my latest videos all right guys let's go ahead and dive into this journey together very first step in any fitness journey is getting your mindset right you got to ask yourself what is it that i exactly want to change whether it's you losing weight building muscle like I'm trying to do, or just feel more energized and alive. You guys, you have to know your why. It is crucial when getting into this aspect of your life. That is the reason, that reason, your why is what's gonna help you stay motivated and keep pushing when things get tough. And trust me, it will be tough because you're going to be sore. You're gonna feel it, but that's a good thing, right? And just don't worry. You could push through this. Remember, it isn't just about exercising. It's about completely transforming your life. That is the goal here. You'll need to work on your nutrition during this aspect of your life, your workout routines. You need to have a good sleep habits and stress management. Every aspect of your overall well-being it's a holistic whole body, mind, body, soul approach is what I'm going for here, right? And that's the only way to achieve a total glow up transformation that you're after. Let's talk about starting where you are. Now, I want you to know, I was not always in shape like I am today. Not even close, guys. And I'm just being for real. I was never a girl that wanted to be in the gym at all. In fact, there was a period where I was really sick and all I could do was just my basic stretching. For those of you that have been following me a long time, you know that I have a full-blown playlist just on stretching because I did what I could do at that particular time in my life, right? And I wanted to share with you guys that you could still move even though you were not in the gym lifting. And if that's where you are right now, it's okay. I want to be the first one to let you know. You can actually find some great stretching videos. Like I said, head over to the playlist and just click on that if you feel like this is going to be too complicated for you. But again, this is just about motivation. So the key is meeting yourself where you are and not getting discouraged. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Even though you're watching me, I still don't want you to compare yourself to me or your family, friends, or the girlies in the gym that you're at, right? I'm on year four. As of the day of making this video, I am on year four post-kidney transplant, and I still have a lot of limitations with my illness that keeps me from doing certain types of exercises. There's a lot of exercises that I truly have to manage <laughs> you know you guys we all see those crazy workouts on instagram and on youtube and a lot of them i just can't do and i'm okay with that and i focus on what i can do and i celebrate the victories no matter how small they are like my favorite thing to do is hip thrusts right but i can't put that barbell on certain parts of my body so i kind of have to push it down a little bit further because you guys I'm not trying to mess up my kidney transplant, right? And a lot of the workouts that require me to put weights and stoop low and push off with my leg, I'm not doing those kind of things because I'm not trying to take that risk. I've worked too, I've come way too far in life to be set back because of just not knowing what, I listen to my body, put it that way, right? I listen to my body. If my body's saying, Chrissy, I'm gonna need you to stop, I'm gonna stop. So the next thing we need to talk about is creating a plan. One of the most important things for any beginner is having a plan. You can't just aimlessly wander into the gym. 
<laughs> no, you can't do that. You need to walk into those doors knowing exactly what you're going to do that day. Always, always have a plan. Having a structured plan will keep you focused and keep you m- just to make the most out of your time. We're not trying to waste time in the gym and we want to see results, right? And so you got to make sure that you either get a fitness plan, you get a trainer, whatever you got, you have to do, but your plan should include a good mix of cardio to get your heart rate up because it's so important to make sure our heart rate is, you know, pumping. We need to do strength training to build muscle. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I don't want to lift because I don't want to look like a guy. You're not going to look like a guy, okay? (laughs) So you want to strengthen your muscles. Flexibility, work on increasing mobility. That's important just as well. That's why I tell you guys, make sure you're doing your stretching and things of that nature. Don't just zero in on one area of your body. You need to be focusing on all aspects of your body so you can have a balanced approach for real lasting results. We don't want results, you know, just for the week or two. No, we want long lasting. So we're working on a full body transformation, okay? Speaking of transformations and results, they are not going to happen overnight. This is probably one of the biggest things I can tell anyone because sometimes you're going into the gym and you just expect in a week or two for you to have abs. That's not going to happen. Consistency is absolutely key for sustaining any fitness transformation. It's not about killing yourself in the gym for a few weeks and then burning out. It's about developing a routine and sticking to it for the long haul. That means starting out with maybe just 20, 30 minutes of exercise a few times a week, that's okay. Something is always better than nothing. As long as you keep showing up and putting in your best effort, you make progress over time. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Do I need to say that a little louder again? It's a marathon, not a sprint, guys. Take your time and do what you can do. Next one let's talk about is nutrition, right? So of course, we're all working out and that's just one piece of the puzzle. Nutrition is just as important, if not more important, I would say. You can't outwork a poor diet. People used to always say that and I never really understood what that really meant, but now I do because I'm a girl that likes to eat and I have to realize that you cannot out-exercise a poor diet. So you got to start fueling your body with the right stuff. Focus on eating plenty of whole, nutrition-dense food like lean proteins. For those of you that, you know, might eat meat, I recently started eating meat again before I wasn't. Some of you guys who been following me for a long time no I was vegan at one point I was pescatarian you know make sure you're getting like your fruits your veggies your healthy fats your complex carbs stay hydrated by drinking lots of water I already have to drink a lot of water because I got a kidney transplant and that's just one of the requirements so drinking water is not too bad for me but for those of you that don't have an illness please make sure that you're drinking adequate enough water And don't be afraid to treat yourself in moderations, okay? Don't ever deprive yourself. Otherwise, you're going to binge later when it comes to eating. And that's not what we want. We want to make sure that we are staying balanced with our food. So I personally, uh, Monday through Friday, I am on a very strict uh, diet. I wouldn't say diet. I would just say very strict food plan. Um, I already pick out my meals. I know what's what. And on Saturday is usually my free days, what I call it. I go out with my kids, we eat, we have a good time, right? So just make sure that you're keeping a good balance. So rest and recovery. Not a lot of people talk about this, but I think it's so important. Don't underestimate the importance of rest and recovery because your body needs that time to repair and rebuild after intense training sessions. A lot of times I used to, in the beginning, like, oh, no, I got to go, I got to go, and I was in pain, and I didn't really understand that you're going to see better results if you allow your body to heal. So if I have a really intense workout, 
I might not go to the gym the next day. I might just walk, right? So just make sure that you allow your body to rest, but also sleeping, right? So make sure that you're getting at least seven to nine hours of sleep each night. And consider incorporating active recovery workouts like light stretching, get a phone roll, a, 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 you guys, that's so funny, right? Get a foam roller is what I wanted to say. Man, let me tell you, when you are sore, oh, this is going to be your best friend and your enemy at the same time. It hurts, but it definitely helps a lot. Or just do some gentle yoga to work out the tightness and the soreness in your body. So hydration. One more key thing I want to men- mention is hydration. Drinking enough water is crucial. Make sure that you're working out regularly and you have a water bottle with you. So that was the biggest thing because sometimes we go to the gym and we don't bring our water bottles and then you're thirsty and then you're getting dehydrated and you're not performing well. And so I just wanted to swing back around and let you guys know that you need to make sure that you're drinking enough water and if you have to bring your water bottle with you in the gym, I always suggest that. I always have my water bottle with me, right? Aim for at least half your body weight in ounces of water per day. I get a lot of messages asking me, well, how much water am I supposed to take in? I don't know what I'm supposed to drink. So if you weigh 160 pounds, they say you should shoot for about 80 ounces, which is about 10 cups of water daily. And drink even more on the days that you exercise, I was told. Because proper hydration aims to muscle recovery, flushes out the toxins, and give you lasting energy. You can always put certain things in your drink. Um, Some people like to put that collagen. Some people like to put, you know, something, you know, because not everybody likes water, right? So you want to put some kind of flavor in it, so be it. But I think you just need to stay hydrated overall. Again, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just telling you what worked for me and that's what I'm doing here, okay guys? So I want to emphasize that if you're struggling to stick with your fitness plan or achieve your goals, don't be afraid to ask for help. You don't have to do this alone. Sometimes hiring a personal trainer or just just to get a few sessions can provide you so much experience because you're new to this and you don't know what you're doing, right? And that accountability and motivation can really help you level up. I'm so glad that I have a great team and support system in my gym. People are always like, oh, what are you working on today, Christy? Okay. And they will like critique, but like, no, 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 don't do it. This is how you do it. A lot of the guys will come up or even some of the girls. Like there were days when I first started and I was struggling, they would come and tell me, oh, no, I was struggling just like you were on this. This is how you do it and make it so much easier, okay? So consider investing in an online program or a coach that can give you a customized plan tailored for your specific needs and circumstances. The point is, if you know that you can't do it by yourself, figure out what resources and support you actually need to get the results you want. Don't just sit and wait for change to happen on its own because it never does, okay? You made it to the end and I hope that this beginner's guide has you feeling truly inspired and motivated to get your fitness journey on. Remember this whole process isn't about perfection it's about progress show up for yourself constantly put in the hard work and celebrate every victory along the way no matter how small it is so if you need some extra guidance and accountability i got you covered you guys can book a one-on-one we can talk about it or you can go ahead and you can get my comprehensive transformational glow up guide and that is going to be filled with tips tools and inspiration to help you level up not only your mind your body and your soul but just complete transformation for your whole life because the reality is you can't achieve true lasting change by just working on the physical you have to nurture all aspects of your well-being for that total glow up that we're working on and my glow up guide provides you with the mindset shifts lifestyle adjustments and motivational boosts to become the absolute best version of yourself so if you're ready to get to the next level right and just take that next step just comment i'm ready below and check the description as well and i'll put all the details down there so no matter what you're going through i am here to support you i am here to cheer you on every step of the way you got this 
I'm so proud of you guys. Stay consistent, believe in yourself, and I promise you the results will come. Keep glowing, ladies. See you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.